is study and doing that study pro bono said there's nothing in your contract with us that prohibits you from using us as your representatives in this case. So we have that. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see here today does not mean that this council is dealing with a giveaway to Cleveland. At any point, at any time, that it is necessary to give a voice, the people of East Cleveland will determine their fate, their destination, their ability to do what they feel is necessary. And 50, 30, wherever, and I hate to keep saying when people say, well, this one don't want this and this one don't want that. If you look at what's going on in the government of the United States, there's 85% for this and 60% of that. No one here can tell me the percentage of 17,000 people that is saying, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. And the only way you're going to find that out, ladies and gentlemen, is for all of us to come together once this little process is put in place. And if the mayor does not come to fruition or that does not uphold the end of what is supposed to be happening here, then he goes to. You got next year to do what you got to do. And I'm not saying anything that has to be done, but I am saying, I know there has been a lot of controversy around the council through the council and a lot of people. But there is not even 45 people here. And when you set it out and everybody was aware that we were going to pick, and I'm saying we, I told you I wouldn't say I, that we were looking at commissioners. The commissioner is just what they are, commissioners. And if there is a negotiation to take place, which you don't know if there's a negotiation to take place, because nothing has been dealt with with Cleveland. And I say that to say that I am not in favor of a merger and annexation, but I am in favor of finding out what is out there. And if you don't, you'll be neglecting your duty and responsibility as a council to go and see what's out there. And heaven only knows, let me tell you something, there's several individuals that has come into East Cleveland and are building in here. Ladies and gentlemen, something is happening out there. And you better look behind what's happening and wake up and see that East Cleveland can come back. East St. Louis did it. East Cleveland had done it before. Camden. There's a lot of areas that has done it, but you got to have the right leadership to take it forward. Yes. Now I'm saying to you yes. that this is nothing. This is a process. And everybody has a process. Even when you get married, you got to go to college. You got to do this. You got to do that. But I'm saying right now, let's finish the process and get it on the road. Because we were sued because we weren't doing the process. Now we're doing the process. And ladies and gentlemen, I would be the first one to back out and say it's nothing but a lie. But I won't do that until we have dealt with all the options that are out there. For indulging me, Council. And thank you, guys. All right, very good. Um, my comment on this is that I, I think part of the problem is that the process has not been, not saying not transparent, but maybe not communicated to our residents as clearly as it could have been. So, just to give a short tutorial, whether you're for annexation or you're for um, the city being on its own and being sufficient, like uh, Councilman Thomas referred to the process. 
we want to see if we do annex or if there is a possibility of annexation, what that would, what that pot would contain of information, and simultaneously we want to go ahead with a feasibility study to see how we can stand and be sufficient on our own as a as a municipality. Um, and I'm all for once we name our commissioners that we have town hall meetings. I'm going to urge that to council president and the rest of council because it's not just about what the commissioners see or the information that they're fed from independent resources, but it's also about what the residents may want or um, think about as far as what they would like to see if we were annexed into Cleveland. However, I'm not for annexation. It's a knee-jerk reaction for me to want to say our city should stay sufficient on its own, but the fact is, is that our revenue, there was a lot of fiscal problems that we have, so we have to explore it. But I, I would be willing, and I'm, I'm asking the rest of council, um, that we have some type of town hall meetings in which our residents are kept abreast, where they can voice their opinions, um, and their desires as far as what they would like to see on either side of the coin. So in all fairness to our residents, I don't believe that um, that a lot of this information has been communicated. Uh, Mr. Irby, you stated, you know, the negotiations or what have you. The timetable doesn't start until clean, the clock doesn't start until Cleveland appoints their three commissioners. So by us going forward, appointing our commissioners, we can then start with our feasibility study, we can be ahead of the game. So that way, we can get this information from this uh, this firm to perhaps assist our commission um, with information as well. But we're ahead of the game now because we've decided to come together to work out our differences, to look outside the box, so to speak. Um, so I do appreciate the residents being patient with this process. I think that we need more involvement from the residents. As Ms. Fisher stated, uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding. People think that because we've appointed commissioners, that means that we're gonna automatically be annexed. Just like um, Councilman Thomas said, it ultimately comes up to a vote of the residents. And I just wanna make that clear. Um, and, you know, it's our job to inform you information is key. Correct information is key. Um, and so we've got to get that information out to you and we have to allow you to have an avenue to get your opinions and, and your feelings back to us and throughout this process. So that's one thing that I urge council that we seriously um, take in consideration and having these town hall meetings with our residents to keep them abreast. I think that's all I have to say. Did. Didn't we already decide on us? Yes. Yes, we did. Council Vice President, thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. It's a very important night in the city of East Cleveland. And I agree with much of what has been said by my colleagues. One of the things we've stated since running for office and then being in office is working as a team. And we've tried over the two years, seven months, to work as a team council and the administration. Last year, about this time, council